Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. I know y'all saying, what is Jeff Jeffrey doing with these this box pancake mix? Okay, in the title of the video, I'm probably going to tell you one of my guilty pleasures. What I really enjoy eating, y'all, a couple of times a month. And I'm going to show you how I grew up eating pancakes a lot of times. I used to eat pancakes, y'all, with jelly on it. You probably say I'm crazy. Chef Jeffrey done lost his mind. Who eats pancakes with jelly on it? Yes, I, my mom used to make pancakes. Of course, in the skillet, like I'm about to show y'all. And I, instead of syrup, I used to put either grape jelly or plum jelly. Of course, y'all know I make my own jelly. I never buy jelly in the store. I haven't did it for years. My mama never did it either. So I'm going to show y'all how I used to eat my pancake. Now, back to the thing at hand. If y'all watched a video a few months ago, I told y'all at the job I used to work at for 34 years, I worked at an establishment, huge kitchen. If you ever seen my retirement video, you saw the kitchen I work in, humongous. We had about 200 uh, employees on staff. It was that big. We fed 1,500 people on a weekly basis. Uh, there was membership. It was a private club. This is the pancake mix we use. We made everything else pretty much in-house from scratch, from the stocks to everything we make in-house. We get our fish and meat in whole. We break it down. We had a butcher that did all everything. We made all our dressings in-house. We bought no dressings. But this is one thing that we bought. Pioneer pancake mix. All you do is add water. This is absolutely the best pancake mix on the market. If you want to buy pancake mix, I've said this before. It is nice, fluffy. Yeah, it's better than crusty. Crusty's. Crusty's had the best waffle mix. Pioneer had Crusty's uh, pancake mix is not as good as this. This is the best pancake mix on the market. Of course, we bought it in the five pound bags. We didn't get it in the little boxes like this. It was five pound bags. It was five times. See, it was thirty pound case. Five pound it was six five pound bags in a case. We bought thirty pounds at a time. And this is what we use. And this is what I use all the time in my house. It might be in the afternoon. I don't want to eat nothing else. For dinner, I know y'all have had pancakes for dinner. I know that's pretty much normal. A lot of people have done that. And this is one of my guilty pleasures. Sometimes it might be 2 in the morning. I want something quick to eat. I always have this on hand. All you do is add water. I put this. I don't use any syrup. I put some jelly on it, slather on top. That's what I eat. So this is what I'm about to make, y'all. So I say, y'all about to say, this guy's crazy. I got a little gold here, because I don't need much. It's just me at 2 in the morning or in the afternoon or whatever. I'm not feeding a lot of people. I'll get my little bowl here. I don't even measure this, y'all. I just do it by feel, because I've been making it so long, so, so long, I don't even measure it. All this is water. You don't add no egg. You don't add no milk. Nothing, y'all. Okay, let me put this away here. Cold water. Like I say, y'all, this is one of my. People say, Jeff, you use. I use. I use some box pancake mix. Cause at two in the morning or early in the morning, sometimes I'm on the computer. I'm doing my work. Old school soul food. I'm editing videos. I'm answering emails. You get that little hunger thing in you. You want something sweet? Or you want a little quick meal? I ain't gonna put no meat with it. Nothing. I just eat this. You know, everybody has that midnight snack thing, and this definitely is mine. So what I do, I just mix it up here. And I'm going to let this set here, y'all. About I like to let my pancake mix set about five, six minutes. That's it. Nothing to it, y'all. Look how easy is that. I'm telling y'all. I don't, like I said, I put, I put a little butter on it. Sometimes, sometimes I don't put no butter. It's just this and the pancake. Then I'll go back up to my office and that's what I'll have. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to let this sit here a little second. Get my skillet heated up. And we're going to come back and make some pancakes, y'all. Uh, old school, new school style. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. All right, I got my skillet here heating up. Pancake mix that rest in a little bit. All I'm going to do, y'all, right in the skillet here. I'm going to put one at a time. You like to do three pancakes. I'll eat my three. That's all I can handle. 
That's pretty much it, y'all. Y'all, of course, everybody know how to cook a pancake. Put it in a skillet till it get brown, and then you turn it over, whatever. But let me get my butter. I think I'm going to put a little butter on it, y'all. Should I put some butter on it? Where y'all be? Y'all always judging me on I eat too much butter. I don't eat enough vegetables, which I do. I eat so many vegetables, y'all. Wait till the holiday season when I start making all these vegetable rest, uh, videos. Y'all gonna get tired of it. Cause I love my vegetables and I love fruit in the morning. Look at my table, all I got right now. I got oranges, I got bananas, I got a honeydew and a cantaloupe ripening on my table right now. Let me show y'all. See, I have my cantaloupe, uh, honeydew and my cantaloupe. I let it sit on my table about this time of year about a week until they get ripened and then I'll slice them. But you know they're irrelevant in the fall and it's in the summer. So anyway, let's see it turn this over here. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a pretty one here. Just kind of flip it over. And we're gonna do three of these. See how nice and fluffy? I'm telling y'all, if you never tried uh, Pioneer Pancake Mix, it is absolute. I'm not getting endorsed by this, paid by this. I just am believing if something good, just say it. This is absolutely the best pancake mix on the market, homemade. I mean, uh, if you're going to buy it in the box. So, anyway, y'all, I'm going to be right back here. I'm going to get all three of them made here, all stacked up. We're going to slide in some old school plum gel. I don't know which one I'm going to use. I think I use plum because I got my plum. I do my plum gel a little bit lighter than my, uh, on purpose, than my uh, uh, grape jelly. Because I know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to slather it on some biscuits. I'm going to slather it on some pancakes. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. And look what I do before. Between each layers, y'all, I'm trying to put some butter in here. So we're going to take this one off. If this one took off here. They sitting on top. See that? And I got one more to do here, y'all. Get it around there. This one's going to be probably be the biggest one. See? See how I do I I've like did this before. I usually get three on one uh, little batch here. And what I do, y'all, I'm going to put some butter on top of this one. And that's why you got to do guilty pleasure in moderation, y'all. See that? Put some butter on between these layers. I wouldn't suggest doing this all the time, but anything in moderation. So we're going to get this last one cooked off, y'all. Get it on the plate and come back. I'm going to show you how I finish it off. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. All right, y'all, I put the big one on the bottom. I'm going to put a little bit more butter here. You never have too much butter, huh? Now, I got my old school uh, plum jelly. Get it open. Y'all be very quiet. Listen to this, how good they seal. Listen to this. Listen to this right here, y'all. See how they seal off? Gotta have that seal jelly. Now, what I'm gonna do, I decided I'm gonna make you plum this time, y'all. And I'll make my plum jelly a little bit softer so it'll flow. See how it flows on there? That's why I make it softer. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna step off just a second, make this YouTube thumbnail, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back took so long. Look at the jelly just done melted all on top. See that warm that pancake just melting that jelly? I'm telling y'all. This is how you should eat pancakes growing up a lot of times. See that? Look at that, y'all. That's one of my guilty pleasures. Middle of the night, sometimes for dinner. Oh, yeah. Put the top back on the jelly here. Like I said, you can use any jelly you want. I have all kinds of homemade jellies in my house, so I have a pick and choose. So let's go in here, y'all. See how nice, and this, I'm telling this pancake batter, a mix from Pioneer, is so fluffy. Hold on here, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. mm. I'm telling y'all. I ain't gonna give y'all a close-up there. Hold on. Hold on, get a little butter. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh my God, y'all. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Guilty pleasure right here, y'all. Definitely a guilty pleasure. Mm. A little 
bit more butt on there with the jelly. It's a good bite here. Look at that. Look at that bite right there. Look at that. It's all in the part on me. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You see it? I'll sit here and be there eat this whole plate of pancakes, y'all. And I'm recording this video. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, y'all. Jelly not only for biscuits, but not only for toast. Like I say, I eat it with my pancakes, y'all. Exactly. If you haven't seen my video for the old school plum jelly, old school grape jelly, definitely go check it out, y'all. Because uh, it's very simple, very easy to make. Jelly is no big deal. A lot of people intimidated by jelly, but it's so easy to make. So anyway, y'all. I wanted to share this little quick video with y'all and show y'all one of my little guilty pleasures I have a couple of times a month. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my little social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time. Have a blessed old school soul food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.